In this video, I'll look what's inside of the Fujifilm Instax Minifilm. Fujifilm gives you a warning not to cut into uh, these Instax prints because there are caustic chemicals inside. So I'll use a disposable box cutter and I'll also put uh, gloves on. So in case I get any on my fingers, then uh, hopefully it's not gonna go through these. The caustic chemicals will be probably like this gel-like substance, so it's not gonna run all over. Uh, what I just did here was kind of bend it. You don't want to do this with any of the film. But the unexposed film is in a cartridge, so this is not going to happen. I have two films here. So this is an exposed film. It's a little bit blurry, so I uh, put it in the reject pile. And this is unexposed film. Uh, this was also a mistake. I took out the cartridge out of the camera, and then I realized it still had some film in there. So the way I know this is unexposed, as you can see, it's white, but it could just be fully overexposed. But the back is this purple color. This purple is the film. Once you expose it in the camera, uh, the chemicals are spread from this pouch over this and it spreads a black layer that uh, makes this uh, shielded from light. So this one is a fully processed and developed picture. So the inside chemicals should be dried out and here the chemicals should be nice and uh, still like wet gel. So first let's open up the unexposed film. I'm gonna cut through this pouch right here with the box cutter. So let's open it up. Uh, there's probably several different layers of chemicals. So we can kind of look into it, see what it looks like. It's pretty easy to open up. Uh, the layers of plastic are quite thin, so it's not hard to cut into it at all. So here we just have a layer that says the Instax. That's nothing, that's just a foil, it's just covering it up. Then we have this kind of paper layer. Uh, so that's the pouch. So let's open that up, okay. So I think all the chemicals are in this pouch. Yep, yeah, that's what it looks like. And then here is just, uh, again, some uh, type of aluminum type of layer. So let's cut into it and see if what it looks like. So there's nothing in here. Um, there's just a foil here. Um, doesn't seem to have multiple layers. Maybe if you looked in the microscope, you could see some layers, but it's just kind of like foily material. Nothing special. I'm pretty. I'm uh, quite surprised how simple it is. So it seems all the chemicals are in this pouch. So we'll open that up later. But let's look at this film first. Let's see if we can peel it apart. Oh, okay. So here we have uh, the layer. So this is kind of like the backing layer. That's interesting. That's just plastic. Here on the top of the print, we have the receival of the unused chemicals. I might actually use this as a gel for my flashes as a kind of a fun experiment. So I'll save that, okay? So this is the top layer plastic that's on the back of the film right here, okay? And then here, this is, must be the actual film layer. So let's see if we can pull that off, okay? So here's the front of this, okay? So the structural part of the film is kind of this aluminum type material. Here we have the top of the film. This is where the unused chemicals are received. Um, again, it's super simple. It's just kind of a piece of paper, like a little paper pouch, nothing fancy. I'm actually quite uh, impressed how simple the film is. I mean, good for them. They don't, I mean, if it, if it works, they don't have to make it super complicated. And then here, so here we have the film and this is some type of a layer. So let's cut into this. Okay. Let's see if we can separate this. I'll try to cut into it. So I, I can't seem to manage to separate these two layers. Um, so this must be the film and once it's exposed, it's processed and then the image shows up on the other side. I can't separate this layer anymore. So uh, this, uh, if you cut it, yeah, if, even if I do something like this, it doesn't seem to separate. Oh, so you can, what's interesting, I can scratch off the film. So I can scratch the film layer. So let's look at the pouch. Here's the pouch with the chemicals. I'm surprised how small it is. So let's squeeze it out. So when it goes to the rollers, the rollers squeeze this. Oh, there it is. So that's the black stuff. Okay, so that's probably like, oh, that's really black. Okay, and then these are probably the chemicals. Well, I don't wanna spray my camera. Oh, there's my. Okay, so here's some more black. 
Oh, okay. So maybe the black and the developmental chemicals are the same thing. Yeah, so I'm glad I'm wearing gloves here. Uh, I would not want to get this on my hands. So it's very goopy kind of chemical. So yeah, you don't want to have this on your hands or in your camera or in your bag. So before I open up the old print, I'm actually gonna put a new set of gloves on. Okay, I have a new set of gloves. I already managed to uh, get them dirty, but I'm not gonna change it anymore. Uh, so let's open this old print. So I'll do the same thing. I'll cut the pouch first. So the pouch in this case should be empty. So since I know what's inside, I'm not too scared about this. So this was a picture that I took with the Instax Mini 11. I think I used the selfie function on accident. Okay, so that's that. All right, here's the pouch. So this should be used up. So you can see here, and the black goo came out of it. So when I squeeze this pouch, nothing comes out, uh, which makes sense because this went through the ro rollers. And again, we, we can take this off. Okay, so I'll try to separate the layers. I'll cut the bottom. Okay, and I'm curious if the goo inside can stain your fingers here or not. Okay, so this doesn't seem to be coming apart very easily. So let's also cut it on this side. Still not coming apart very easily. Let's cut it off a little bit more. So it seems like the black goo, the development of the chemicals, also kind of fused the print together. So when I abuse it quite a bit, the layers do separate. So here's the plastic backing, and it comes off nicely. Okay, so this plastic backing is just like on the new film. And here we have the goo spread out over the film. So. If I touch it, it doesn't stain anymore. And here's the top pouch. So this is what soaks up the remaining chemicals. And you can see this is full of black goo. So this is kind of like a porous material. So the chemicals don't come out. It's a good design. I'm shocked how simple it is. I thought there are multiple chemicals in the pouch, but it seems like just one uh, chemical mixture. It's like a black goo, probably containing the developmental chemicals. You can see it's kind of uh, crackly, so you don't want to be bending your prints too much because these uh, dried up development of chemicals are going to crack on you. Now you can see I can kind of separate the layer all the way. So the developmental mixture and the picture are kind of fused together, so you can't really do like a emulsion lift or anything like that, which is too bad. You can definitely get the picture of the plastic. It's making a lot of mess. I do have some newspaper behind it, so it's fine. I guess you could make some crazy art out of this, but this is what it looks like. So here was the picture. So that's what's inside of an Instax print. Um, overall, I'm quite surprised how simple it was. Um, I thought it would be a lot more complex. I bet Fuji is making a lot of money on these prints. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing. I have over 50 Instax videos posted on my channel on how to use the cameras, how to get the best out of your prints, and how to uh, troubleshoot if your cameras are not working. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.